afternoon. Today, we're going to rebuild my barbecue. I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup here. Over the years, you know, you kind of neglect it, and that's kind of the way it goes. Now, I can, the easy way out here is just to go out and buy a new barbecue. I can buy exactly the same model, but for less money, I can rebuild it. And there's a lot of good memories in this old grill here. And it's simple to do. All you have to do is, you know, a basic barbecue is a couple valves, a burner, a um, little heat deflector, and some grills. Do a little cleanup, and basically you got a brand new barbecue when you're said and done. So that's what I'm going to do today. And went to my uh, dealer and I got some parts. Now when you do order parts, try not to get generic stuff. Try and get exactly the part you need for your particular model. Uh, if, you, if you go and get yourself a generic this or that, then you're starting to flange things together. And then now your day isn't going very good. It's not worth it. Now the grills that I got, they look like they're a little bit tougher, a little nicer upgrade. Now this particular model is a broil king. So I think that's just a little brother to the or broil mate. I think that's a little brother to the broil king. And I'm getting some broil king parts. This is a really nice grill. Now the grill, of course we change that. And then you get a brand new heat deflector. This is a flavor wave they call it. And a new burner. And you can tell, you know, this is Royal King. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good name in the, uh, you know, in the world of uh, barbecues. So let's get started. First thing you gotta do is clean everything up. Now, here's a word of advice. You're gonna need some good, strong cleaners. I use my favorite degreaser, but sometimes it can be a little bit too much and kind of notice some past jobs that I've done that if you don't want any of this white stuff to rub off, use something that's a little less uh, harsh. So I'm going to finish cleaning up the outside. Then we'll start taking everything apart on the inside here. I'm just going to use my pliers here. A lot of grease built up over the years on these uh, Wow, that's almost a little bit embarrassing. But you can see, this barbecue has been sitting outside. I've had it for over 10 years. And you can start to see the rust build up here. Time to uh, change her out. Put that somewhere where it's not going to get anything dirty. Now the best way to get rid of all this crud in here is just to use a vacuum cleaner. do some scraping later but that's just about gone it's just uh, pulls right out pretty simple Now this is the uh, igniter here, 
Not too sure if it still works or not. We'll give her a test. Just don't know whether or not <clears throat> that'll probably go right onto the burner, so we'll have to unscrew that, I guess. Maybe not. Pretty rusty. See what we can do. Okay, all this crud in here. I'm just going to scrape, but at the same time I'm going to scrape, I'm going to vacuum. That way it doesn't go down here and I have to do it twice. Well, it doesn't look too bad. A lot of crud in here. It's amazing what builds up over 10 years. Now, I'm not interested in getting this perfectly clean. For one thing, you'd have to use some harsh chemicals like an oven cleaner or something like that, and I'm really not into putting any chemicals in here. And let's face it, that's where all the flavor is. You don't want to get rid of all the fat. So, now that we got that done, let's see if I can get this sparker fixed up. Wow, screw came undone. This is one of those moments where you're really glad you have a square Robertson end screwdriver. If this was a Phillips, it probably wouldn't come undone. Sorry to say that guys, but these are awesome. I went through all that work, that <laughs> wasn't that much work, and this burner, it's a double burner, comes with the igniter already mounted. So that's a bonus, brand new. Feeding the burner in. Just have to feed the burner in and you got the orifice popping out and then the tube just goes right over top of the orifice. Pretty simple. Let's feed that wire down. It's basically it just plugs right into the back here. Pretty simple. It's just a simple matter of putting in this one here's a triple A battery. So if your igniter isn't working, you have to change your battery. My igniter's not working. Okay, my igniter 
motor's not working. So probably just the igniter part. That's a pretty uh, cheap little fix. You just have to buy a new igniter. Over the years, the rain gets in there. Now there are a couple screws that come with this that'll uh, screw down in here. What I might do is just pop it up and maybe I need a bit better ground on here for my igniter to work. So I'm going to get a screwdriver in there and clean that up and see if that helps. So I put a bunch of time into the igniter, but it's a little too corroded, so I'm going to have to buy a new one. But I usually start with my little sparker anyway. So the next thing, so really cleaning it up, took me maybe five minutes, putting a new burner in, a couple minutes, all you do is drop this heat deflector down. Put the grills in. Perfect. Everything fit absolutely perfect. So I'm getting Broil King parts in my Broil Mate barbecue. So now I've got an upgrade. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Fire this up, you want to burn off any contaminants that might be on here before you throw down a burger. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. So my motto is don't give up, just fix it. And now I've got a good barbecue that's going to last me 10 years. So I'm really happy. Okay, put a couple knobs on here, we're going to hook a bottle up. Fire it up. Now I'm going to fire it up in my garage, but I am going to open the doors. You know not to do that, right? Oh, it's so nice to have even flame everywhere. Okay, let's burn off any uh, contaminants. And if I burn my garage down, I'm sure to go viral. Very simple little uh, process today, and I got a brand new barbecue out of it. Only thing I can say is uh, make sure you're not wearing your best jacket. I got a little bit of grease on mine. So, because it's a dirty job. All right, check it out. The Maiden Burger. Till next time.